next i am going to give some more process related to the poisson process the first one is the non homogeneous poisson process Let n t denote the number of customers arriving in the interval 0 to t. The arrival process has a Poisson distribution, but here the change instead of the mean arrival rate is a constant, mean arrival rate is a constant lambda, but here it is a function of t. Lambda t is the cumulative rate till time t, that is a change from the Poisson process. Then this stochastic process is called a non homogeneous Poisson process. Instead of a mean arrival rate is a constant, here the lambda t is a function of t, therefore, this stochastic process is called a non homogeneous Poisson process. Second one compound Poisson process. Using Poisson process, one can develop a little complicated stochastic process related to the arrival that is called a compound point Poisson process. Consider a Poisson process n of t, then you define a random variable x i denote the number of customers arriving at the ith time point of arrival. x 1 denotes how many arrivals takes place at the time of first arrival, first arrival time point and x 2 will be what is the second time of arrival, how many arrival takes place. Therefore, I am making a new random variable x of t that involves t that denotes the total number of customers arriving during the interval 0 to t. That means, it is going to be how many arrival takes place in the first time point x 1, how many arrival takes place at the second time of arrival that is x 2 and so on plus x of t x of x of x n t here n t is a random variable and how many arrival takes place that is a x size altogether that is going to be the total number of arrivals. The x size are independent and identically distributed random variables with some distribution function g independent of the Poisson process n of t. So, this is nothing but a random sum because these are all the random variable and how many random variables you are going to add that depends on the value of n of t over the t. Therefore, this is a random sum of x i is with n of t. Obviously, these two are independent, x i is are independent of n of t and since it is a number of our customers arrival during the in the ith time point therefore, x i's are a discrete random variable, x i's are discrete random variable and n of t is also Poisson process. Therefore, x of t is going to be a discrete state continuous time stochastic process and we are using a Poisson process to get this stochastic process therefore, it is called a compound Poisson process. One can deduce Poisson process from a compound Poisson process by substituting each x i takes a value only one unit. That means, then the number of customers arriving at the ith time point is going to be only one. That means, if I make a p probability of x i takes a value only one, that probability is one for all i. Then, I will have a only one value possible till n of t, then this is going to be a Poisson process. Suppose the probability of x i is a, suppose the x i's are going to be a discrete random variable with the possible values 0, 1, 2 and so on, then the x of t is going to be a Poisson process. I can make a simple sample path for the compound Poisson process this is over the time and this is over the n x of t. Suppose, uh, these are all the time points in which uh, arrival time point. So, this is the first arrival time point and this is the second arrival time point and this is the third arrival time point. It can be anywhere in the 
in a continuous time. Therefore, this is called a discrete state continuous time stochastic process. So, here I am relating with the random variable x1, this x2 random variable, this is x3. So, till the first arrival, till the first time of arrival, the number of customers in the system is 0. At the first time of arrival, the x1, suppose you think uh, you make the assumption x1 takes a value 3, x1 takes a value 3, therefore, this will be incremented by 3 till the second arrival. At the time of second arrival, suppose you assume that this takes a value 2 with some probability, probability of x2 takes the value 2 is greater than 0. So, you have assumed value 2, it can take in any other value also. So, it is incremented by 2 till it takes the third arrival the value is. Uh, so, this is 0, this is 3 then 3 plus 2 5. At this time whatever be the number of arrival accordingly this can take some value. So, the difference between the compound Poisson process and the Poisson process in the Poisson process the increment will be only only one unit increment over the time whenever the time at which the arrival occur, arrival time epochs. Whereas, here wherever the time of arrival time epochs the number of customers entered that need not be 1, it can be more than or equal to 1. So, that is the way the jump goes therefore, this is called the compound poison process. So, we have seen uh, two variations of poison process, one is a non-homogeneous poison process, the other one is a compound poison process. So, before I go to the, I complete, let me give the solution for the first ex, second example which I started. That is this question the car insurance problem, we have discussed the two problem. The first problem is uh, <coughs> related to the bus stand uh, bus arrival issues and this is the car insurance problem. So, in this problem, we have not assumed the Poisson process, but the problem is uh, related to the Poisson process, one can assume it is a form a Poisson process, because you see the assumptions, the average rate of occurrence of climbs is a 10 per day. Also, the rate is a constant and in a very small interval of time, at most one climb can happen. The questions are, what is the probability that there are less than two climbs reported on a given day? Since the increments are uh, stationary. So, any day you can uh, think of uh, with the only the interval. What is the probability that the time until the next reported climb is less than 2 hours? So, this is related to use the exponential distribution because the inter arrival times are exponential distribution. So, for the first question you can assume that you can assume that the n of t is nothing but a number of uh, number of uh, insurance uh, car insurance claims reported to the insurer that has a poison process. You can assume that n of t is a poison process based on the assumptions given in the problem. Once you assume that this is a poison process, the question is what is the probability that there are less than two claims reported on a given day. So, the given day 2 days you can shift into 0 to 2 days itself because of the increments are stationary. So, the question is nothing but what is the probability that n of one is less than 2 in a given day a day. So, what is the probability that n of 1 is a less than 2 that is nothing but what is the probability that n of 1 equal to 0 or n of 1 equal to 1. Therefore, the probability is added. So, you substitute uh, 
since it is a NFT is a Poisson process, the probability mass function of a NFT is equal to k, that is a e power minus lambda. Here the lambda is a 10 per day, 10 times t and a 10 times t power k by k factorial. So, this is the probability mass function for the random variable n of t for fixed t. Therefore, n of 0, n of 1 is equal to 0 that is nothing but e power minus 10. Here the t is 1, 1 day plus n of 1 is equal to 1 you substitute here therefore, you will get 10 times e power minus 10. So, the answer is 11 times e power minus 10. Numerically, you can get what is the value. So, the probability that there are two claims reported on a given day is 11 times e power minus 10. The second question, what is the probability that time until the next reported climb is less than 2 hours? So, this is equivalent of the next reporting climb is less than 2 hours that means, uh, the residual time of the next climb that is going to happen, the one climb is going to happen less than 2 hour. That means, uh, you can use uh, the inter arrival time that is exponential distribution with the parameter lambda, here the lambda is uh, 10 or 10 by 2 hours. Therefore, you should convert the values. So, it is a 10 divided by 24. Climb can happen at any day throughout the 24 hours. Therefore, 10 per day, therefore, it is 10 divided by 24 per hour. So, the t is exponentially distributed with the parameter 10 by 24. Now, the question is what is the probability that the time until the next report climb is less than 2 hours? That means, what is the probability that t is less than that is nothing but that is nothing but since it is exponential distribution and you know the CDF of uh, the random variable t. So, the probability of uh, t is less than 2 is nothing but uh, 1 minus e power minus 2. So, 2 times uh, so 20 by 24. So, the answer is 1 minus e power minus 20 by 24 that is the probability that the next report report climb is going to be occur before 2 hours. So, with this I have completed two examples also. So, in this lecture we have discussed a Poisson process and we have illustrated two examples for the Poisson process also some important properties also discussed in this. Thanks.